complex. If you want your hair to grow, if you need your hair to grow and to be ticking and all of them, please continue watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. I am JC. If you are new here, from just lost JC here or whatever. <gasps> Okay, so this video hopefully will be quick, you know, I say that, but you never know. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys, it's been a while, you know, I've been doing a lot of protective styles, so I wanted to come on here and show you my hair care routine. So I mentioned, I believe, in one of my videos that I'm doing a lot of spices and powders and everything because I need my hair to grow, okay, the way I need it to grow. So, if you're interested in my wash day routine and how I use these products, please continue watching. We have some fenugreek powder that's going to help with the slip. I don't add too much of any of the ingredients, I add a bit of each. Next up is amla. Dash a bit of that in there as well. This stuff really helps with thickening the hair. So I love me some amla, some Indian gooseberry. If anything, this is the main one that I would say definitely get. Next up we have the Shikai Kai. Of the three of them, I definitely add the least Shikai Kai whenever I do it. Um, Shikai Kai is known to be a natural cleaning agent, sort of like a shampoo. Um, and I don't, you guys know how I feel about the squeaky clean feeling, so I'm already going to be using a cleansing conditioner, so I tend to be a bit light-handed with that. Last but certainly not least is the Brahmi. Brahmi is another one that's supposed to help with darkening the hair naturally, giving it like a kind of shine and luster because of that appear darker hair. And it's supposed to help with volume. As you can see, there's a trend here, trending in the direction of volume, baby. From there, it's very simple. You wanna start adding in some kind of liquid. So I like using aloe vera water. I find that to be really, really good because aloe definitely helps with moisture, so that's why I add that. You can also add any cheapy conditioner of your choice. I like to go in with a VO5 conditioner and a tea tree tingle conditioner from Trader Joe's. Not really important, whatever conditioner that you want, it's just to add some kind of lubrication to this. And then I just mix it all up. There are no real measurements for this because again, Every time I do it, it's going to be slightly different, but as long as it has the ingredients in there, it's fine. And I've just been finding that it's been helping my hair so, so, so much. Um, and so, of course, I wanted to show you guys how I'm using it, which I'm pretty sure I've shown before, but I wanted to bring it back because I don't know if you believe me yet, but I'm using this stuff and I'm using it all the time. This combined with my hair growth oil has been doing bits, okay, for my hair, so... I'm just about to wash my hair and obviously I showed you guys how I made this but I wanted to come back and show how my hair has been looking. So I have had my hair in this protective style. I'm going to put it in the card so that you guys can see it but it was like this half gelled back situation so that's why the front looks a bit um. Crankum <laughs> mm, crankum. But I like the style because it keeps the back of my hair twisted up, as you'll see if you click that video. And so my hair essentially is already pretty detangled, so it makes detangling super easy um, because the hair is away. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, I was taking it out, I was like, wow, look at what's going on. It's grown a lot from just being away. So obviously I have on my usual bear t-shirt, but I wanted to show you how it's looking against this. But yeah, these are literally just the twists I took out from the style, but. And you guys also know that I kind of stopped trimming as much as I used to, so this is what it's giving now. Which I'm very surprised about. We'll see, I haven't worn it in a twist out in a while, so we'll see how it looks in a twist out. And if I like it, then I will consider not trimming as much. But if I don't, and I think the ends look crazy, then I will trim it. But for now, I'm just like, I can always feel the new growth every time I take it out in this back section. It's, it's mad. And the front was braided as well, but I feel like I get to see the front a lot more because I see the top section of it. So, but yeah, it's also been doing bits too. So I'm excited to wear it in a twist out. I don't know what my next protective style will be, but we'll see. I'm starting off with the first section. Just gonna show you how I use it. I 
I start off with some water always. It's important for me, especially with my hair type, to get the hair wet. That way the product slips in a bit better. I love this. I like to drag my fingers through, get all the shed hairs out as well. Because again, this hair has been in twists pretty much the whole time. So the shed hairs haven't um, been able to get out like it does usually when I do a twist out. So the product actually has picked up a bit it's been maybe like 30 minutes since i made it i had to set up and everything so it thickens up a bit the product but yeah this is usually the first thing i like to get in on my hair because again i need this to do what it has to do so sometimes if i use other things first to me it feels like those other things are really what's going to be penetrating the hair shaft first especially because i'm like you know what my porosity is kind of normal, I think normal to low, so I would like for the first thing that is really working and soaking into the hair shaft to be the product that is going to give me the properties that I need. So that's usually the first thing I go in with. Not even a lot as you can see, it's literally just to get it in there to do what it needs to do. Then I like to take some on my fingers, like so, nothing crazy, and then go. in the scalp like that that's it because a lot of these have hair growth boosting properties especially the amla and it's supposed to help at the root to help boost blood flow to the scalp so i like to get that there just so that it can get those properties and then after that pretty much go in like i normally would with a bit of cheapy conditioner first so i use a little bit of the tea tree and a little bit of my vo5 conditioner so whatever conditioners that you have that you like i would use a little bit of that a little bit of both nothing major put this in just to get the slip slip going my hair needs a bit more moisture then i like to go in with the main deep conditioner that i'm using so today i'm using the eden body works which i love this split end repair mask they have the marshmallow line oh, to me it works really well for detangling and this is what i pretty much do at this point it's just to tangle the hair so you'll see me run my fingers through just getting the product through but also getting any tangles out now it is super easy to detangle my hair these days you can see the shit hair coming out there because again the style that i had before this pretty much had my hair in twists at least this section of my hair in twists the whole time. So the twists were already detangled. I'm curious if you guys have seen or heard of this product. It's the Affigy Keratin and Green Tea Hair um, Restructurizer. It's generally just a protein treatment. And I always keep this on me whenever I'm doing my hair or whenever I'm going through a wash day. Because sometimes, and as you get to know your hair, you sort of feel it. You can feel that your hair is overly moisturized and that it needs some kind of protein in it. My hair tends to have this kind of really stretchy, gummy feeling when it's been moisturized too much and it needs some kind of protein. And none of my leave-in or my deep conditioners at this point have or a lot of protein. One, because my hair is pretty sensitive to protein, so I don't think it would be beneficial for me to use it every wash day. But after like sometimes a month or two, or more like two months, two months to three months, sometimes I can feel like my hair can use a little protein. And the best way for me to be able to feel that, I usually can't feel it when it's dry, it's when it's wet and I'm um, detangling is usually when I can really feel like, okay, this needs some protein. And then I'll just take this as I'm doing this process. So I'm feeling my hair, it doesn't, it's not that kind of day today, so it's fine. But if it had felt like that, I could just take this and spray it in. And this is very, 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 in my opinion, light protein. I have used um, the rice water thing and chai, 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 my hair almost broke off, okay? It was so much protein, it was crazy. This, to me, I was nervous about using it, but two, three sprays in each section, like six section, and my hair will feel a bit stronger, and it basically gets rid of the moisture overload that I feel. So that's pretty much it with this section. This section is completely detangled, so then, twist it up and move on to the next section but that's pretty much how I use this product get it on the length of the hair immediately get it to the scalp 
move on to the next one and then when I'm in the shower wash it all off and when I wash it off I untwist each section and let the water run through it just so that the grains of this product can get out because I find if I wash my hair in twists with this product in there when I'm untwisting it when it's dry I see a lot of dry particles in there from the grain and stuff that's in this product so I would recommend when you're washing it out actually letting the water run through and thoroughly washing it out so that your hair is as clean as possible but other than that it doesn't really do much difference to my wash day routine and which is why I've been doing it every single time that I wash my hair and I've been doing that for the past I want to say three four months at this point and been receiving so much growth from it so I wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing so once I'm done washing everything out of my hair, this is pretty much how I carry my hair for the next two, three days, however long it takes to air dry, okay, in the same style, and however long it takes for me to have a couple hours for me to do the next part of the process. So when I say that, listen, I wear my hair in those six chunky twists for a bit to let it air dry, this is what I mean. You can see, like, it actually doesn't look terrible it's not my favorite style but I don't think it's terrible for an in-between um, so that's how I rock it and then we get into the twisting part so I just want to show you guys this part trying to show the holistic view of my hair routine as much as I could um, so the products that I use I love to go in with any kind of cream so whenever I come out of the shower, when I initially wash my hair, I do put this cream in my hair or a cream. So right now I'm using the As I Am Restore and Pair. I always put this in my hair anyway out of the shower. So when I'm going in now to dry twist my hair, it's very, very lightly creamed. Then I go in with an oil. I don't go in with, with an oil when I come out of the shower from washing my hair. I stick to leave-in conditioner and I stick to my As I Am cream. So this is the time when I like to go in with an oil and I'm using the Omali Child Coffee Bean Oil, of course. The link will be down in the description box. So that's going to be, in essence, my sealant. I start off with some water, get some water in the hair just to get it a bit lubricated. For me, it's easier to manipulate my hair when it has some moisture in it. Obviously, this is supposed to be more of a dry twist out, so I don't really get it super wet. I don't even get it damp. It's just water in there to help the product that I have or the products that I have slip through my hair better or easier. You put that in and you can see massaging it in there, detangling very lightly because, again, my hair has been detangled already. Um, and they've dried in the twists, so naturally they wouldn't have much tangling after that. That's the plan. That's the plan, okay? Um, and then I literally just twist that down. And as you can see, I'm doing really chunky twists these days because I've been playing around with different protective styles that I'm doing. So the twists actually don't even stay in as long as they usually do. I usually like to keep my twists in for three-ish weeks before I do a twist out but because I'm playing with different protective styles the twists have been in for maybe a week a week and a half most and then I try a different protective style for the remainder of the time um, so you know I started doing very chunky twists to make the process very quick to put in and very quick to take out when I'm trying to do my next protective style for the other half of my hair day I incorporated these powders into my routine because I like to find natural ways to get me the things that I want. I wanted my hair one to appear darker um, and I wanted my hair to appear more voluminous and these powders are said to be able to do that and they're said to be able to do that naturally. So of course I wanted to take my stab at that and I have noticed quite a difference or quite a big difference using them so I continue to use them. So that is it. This is my hair the next day literally just twisted the rest of it off camera the same way that I showed you um, you can see the growth that we have here I'm more so interested in thickness but I have not been trimming like I used to trim every single time that I twisted my hair so every three weeks I have stopped that so it is interesting and curious for me to check the length see what that's giving now that I'm not trimming anymore I definitely have noticed a difference with this Ayurvedic stuff I listen I love it I do this every single time I wash my hair like I said of course, of course, I use my hair growth oil. If you're looking for a hair growth oil, definitely click the link down below. Click the link. See all the ingredients in my hair growth oil. 13 different ingredients. I use it every single time that I'm doing my hair, as well as during the week, two to three times a week to massage my scalp because it really does help stimulate the hair growth that I'm looking for. That's it. 
like I said this summer has been the summer for protective styles yes I've been switching it up with some of the protective styles that I'm doing but what I have not been switching up is the way I care for my hair when I am washing it 100% have been using this Ayurvedic stuff I will come back with other recipes that I use it other ways that I use it but for now doing this sort of hair gloss deep condition situation with it has been super helpful for me and I have noticed a difference with my hair Ooh, well so I hope this video was helpful I hope it was short sweet and to the point I'm trying to do with this one let me know if you dabble in Ayurvedics I will of course keep the Ayurvedic stuff coming because I believe wholeheartedly my Ayurvedic treatment and my hair oil bing bang boom does what it needs to do anyway like comment and subscribe you can check me out on instagram i also have a tiktok where i have been posting a lot you all have been loving that the people that have found me there i haven't advertised so much over here but there's some good stuff happening over there it's a bit mad not just hair stuff just like me my personality and all of that so if you're interested head to my tiktok and i'm going to see you guys in my next one bye guys